What's going on guys? Night Rainbow here with another reaction video. And I'm going to be taking a look at uh, episode 6 of Remembrance by Ashley H. Um, this is a pretty long one. It's about 53 minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump straight into this. So I go ahead and start it in 3, 2, 1, start. Oh, okay. What's going on? Oh, jeez. Well, something's going to happen in this one. That's never good. That's an interesting art style. Forest again? <laughs> you know, Star Swirl, your spell is very inconsistent. <sighs> and I'm talking to a tree. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, better figure out where I am. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary to my left. No Trixies popping up. <laughs> huh. Seems like I'm I'm getting used to this whole time travel thing. Once again, starting Jeez. over when right I into a song. Time, I don't really know. The trees all look the same, nothing has changed. But I'm still an alicorn. Just put one hoof onward and forward. This used to be confusing all these many different times But now I think I'm getting used to all these signs What lies ahead may be impossible I may be chasing after miracles But when I'm here I feel like I'm finally home So what is in store? CMC, okay. The town smiles and waves and the happy faces. Nothing feels out of place. I've got knowledge and know how to figure it all out. I never want to leave this place. Just put one hoof onward and forward. Yeah, I used to hide away and ignore the sunny day. But now I realize just how beautiful it is. What lies ahead may be impossible. I may be chasing after miracles. But when I'm is that here, Ashley? I feel like I'm finally home. It is. I don't know who the other one is, though. It's not just a spell or words. This is my family. And I will never leave. No, not again. What lies ahead may be impossible. I may be chasing after miracles. But when I'm here, I feel like I'm finally home. What lies ahead may be impossible. Oh, hell, the real queen. God damn it. Starlight. Why are you standing outside? Starlight. Oh. Uh. uh hi. <laughs> I just saw you five minutes ago. Uh, oh, right. Of course you did. I just uh missed you. Hey, you forgot this. <gasps> Careful. I mean, thank you. You're uh welcome. You, <laughs> that was a close one. That's only not awkward. What would have happened if some queen from the past touches the book? There. Now, let's try to figure this out. 
So, I've been to four different time periods so far, not including this one, or that time I fought Nightmare Moon, for the first time, <laughs> again. And after every single one of the times I left, the only things in common were that one of my friend's cutie marks glows, and then I disappear. <laughs> not very helpful, Star Swirl. <laughs> Wait a minute. The reason why they glow is because that means I restored an element. I think. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Naughty okay. Twilight. Love it. So, the first time zone, Pinky's cutie mark glowed. Then Rarities. And then Fluttershy's. Huh. Laughter. Generosity. And then kindness. But wait. That means that there are only two elements left. Twilight! <gasps> uh, coming! Better keep this with me for safekeeping. <gasps> oh, hello. My sister, are you alright? That's... Yes. A fair unique I'm art sorry. style. Did I wake you? Don't worry about that. What happened? I guess all of this nightmare talk has just gotten to me. Uh, I understand. I feel uneasy also. Have you informed every pony about the situation? No. I don't want to worry any pony more than need be. That may be the best solution. We don't want to cause a panic on our hooves. Luna, what are we going to do? We have faced spirits of chaos, changelings, and so many other threats to Equestria. But this, this is so uncertain. And it terrifies me. I know, sister. The only ones who are knowledgeable about this creature are the ones that have been corrupted before. You mean... Like you? Yes, exactly. Do you remember the song? The song that Mother used to sing to us when we felt uneasy? <laughs> A little bit. It's been so long since I've heard it. I remember that she would pull us close, and all of our silly problems at the time would just disappear. <laughs> exactly. I think... That's what we need most right now. Oh, son, our change. I recognize this. Ah, uh, Luna. I understand the point of having the X through them to say that they're gone, but that kind of seems kind of messed up to do. something um no you haven't planned anything oh good then what do you want to do well i spike oh no what now starlight i'll be right back she left the book i could wait no, no. Starlight, that's just wrong but 
What if Twilight is hiding something from me? No, so Starlight. What? Of, of course not. Well, I guess I guess I could just just see a spell book. Go back to the place where you began. What does that mean? But that, that that's impossible. Okay, I'm back. Spike just opened the wrong door and everything just flung on top of them. Twilight. Oh God. What does this mean? Oh what? Are you from the future? What? what? <laughs> oh, of course not. <laughs> Why would you say that? This paper is dated a hundred years from today. It's impossible for you to have something like this when we are a hundred years behind. Trust me, I know time travel. Uh, well, yeah, good point. I don't lie to me, Twilight. Is this why you seem off? Well, uh, of course not, Starlight. How did you come up with such a ridiculous idea like that? <laughs> I have that paper because I was helping Rarity with the latest play in town, and this book is is just a prop. You sure? Of course I'm sure. I was just looking it over for authenticity. Okay, if you say so, then I'll believe you. I'm sorry I looked in your belongings. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I know you mean well. Well, let's go to Sugar Coop Corner and get some cake. My treat. What do you say? Uh, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, that's not what being we're gonna hear that. So we know Starlight. Oh, hi, Discord. Now? Oh my, that's not a very nice attitude you have there, Miss Gal. Yes, well, you've called me here like a hundred times. I believe it was a hundred and one times. <laughs> and Celestia did say to make me feel welcome. I'm just trying to feel welcomed. Yeah, well, can you try to be welcomed without me? I'm dying from all those flights of stairs. You just had to get the room on the top floor, didn't you? Well, of course I did. I am the guest of honor after all. Of course. How many times am I going to say this? We didn't invite you. Lying so doesn't fit your character, gal. That's it. I'm done. Wait, don't go. <laughs> Just starting to have fun. You were having fun. Isn't that the same thing? Why can't of course. You give any pony but yourself for once? Seems kind of boring to me. What about that night at the party? You said some pony else's name. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. I heard you. You said Fluttershy. I never heard that name in my entire existence of course that, anyways Shutterfly? way to play it off <laughs> wow we all heard you at the party maybe if you stop being so difficult we could talk about it well thank you but seeing as there's nothing to talk about i'm going to have to pass on that offer Ugh! why do you have to be so so discordy <laughs> you want to continue this game then fine but I'm not playing. And then I turn into a big bowl of candy. Then I woke up. Pinky, I swear, darling, you have the strangest dreams. You ponies don't have those dreams also? No. Uh, nope. <laughs> Weird. Twilight, are you okay? Fucking Doritos. I haven't touched your cake. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. I think I just need some air. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Hurry up before Pinky eats all our slices. <laughs> okay, I will. Oh, come on, Twilight. You can do this. You you have to restore another element. But but what happens if I restore all of them? Then. I'll be back where I started, alone. Plus, I don't think I can leave. Not again. 
We have just, to, though. I just hate lying to them. Ah! Why is everything so complicated? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Another song? Those are some ears, dear God. <laughs> Continue walking in endless cycles. Please don't leave me alone. I can't survive alone. Please don't leave me alone. I won't survive. Whoa, what? Flurry. Some glorious I wings you got. I think I remember this hallway. Tales of a small Dorito. Fucking hell. Oh, hello. The door. Pretty sure that's the door from the Remembrance video by Argyle Demon. Flurry, wait! 
Hey, Galaxy. We aren't supposed to be down here. I always fucking play chick. I'm oh my god. Out over here. Princess Twilight doesn't like anybody to go near this door. I wonder what's behind there. It looks so important. I also wonder. I asked the princess a couple of years ago, but she just brushed me off. I don't think I've seen any pony go in there since my time here, and that's a while. We should really go. I don't think Princess Luna and Celeste would like that we are here also. Okay, you're right. Let's go. Wow, I like that. What's new? I really like that style. Really? I mean, Discord's been having me do errands for him back and forth, and the princesses have been having me check on the elements. But other than that, not much. Wow, sounds like a lot. Not really. <laughs> it's the job of Princess Twilight's student, after all. I wish Twilight was here. She would know what to do about all this. I know, but instead they have a pony that is running around like crazy lady trying to figure out what the hay is going on. <laughs> Still, you're doing a pretty good job. That's snail. For a crazy pony, that is. Well, thanks. That means a lot. Hey, Galaxy, could you pass me that book? I want to show you something. Oh, sure. Catch. Oh, I'm sorry. This is why I don't play sports. <laughs> it's okay. No harm done. What is this? It's really pretty. Oh. That. It's a music box. See? My dad had it made for me on my fifth birthday. It reminds me of how things were before... Well... Before everything changed. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. He used to sing this song every night before he left for an extended time. It was a reminder that he would always come back to us. It's the only thing I have left to remember him by. Why? I mean, why is that the only thing you have? <sighs> it's complicated. I had to get rid of most of his things because of my mom. She couldn't bear to look at anything that reminded her of him. Even mentioning him made her cry. But this, I couldn't part with this. You can't even mention him? It's not like that, it's just, after everything she's been through, I don't wanna see her as sad anymore. And if the best way to do that is to not mention my dad, then I'll do it for her own happiness. But what about your happiness? It's irrelevant. If I told her what I was actually feeling, I'm not sure if she'd stay. And I don't think I could live like that. All I've ever known is my family. So I guess away. I'd say Cadence wouldn't do it, but she hasn't been acting like Cadence lately. That's not true. You have me. Thank you. Uh, what are you ponies doing here? We're worried about you, darling. Starlight said that she thinks something's wrong. We want to help, Sugar Cube. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm perfectly fine. You were up all night, Twilight. I heard you. I just couldn't sleep, that's all. Twilight, we want to help. I said I'm fine. Now, since I didn't get much sleep, I'm gonna turn in early. Good night. What am I doing? Why do I keep lying to them? Ugh! It's all because of this stupid book! I just... I don't know what to do. Good 
Good morning. That fucking doll. Hey, it doesn't look like you slept well again. Are you really okay? I, I told you I was fine. I mean, I'm okay, Starlight. Just hungry. Hey, Twilight. What's up with her? I have no idea. You know, I heard her talking to herself last night. I couldn't sleep at all. There is definitely something wrong. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Oh, good, you're done. Let's go. <laughs> go? Where? <laughs> that face is so cute. Oh, well, you know, plans change. It seems like a crime to be cooped up in here all day when it's so beautiful out. Plus, she wants to see what's wrong with... <laughs> oh, God. What's wrong with going outside? <laughs> what's so wrong about going and enjoying the day? Uh, nothing, I guess. Then that settles it. Let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's pulling the twilight. <laughs> what is this? Ta-da! I thought you needed some R&R. &R. And I suggested a picnic. Uh, every pony. Well, let's get started. I mean, cupcakes and cakes and cookies and candies and cherry chongas. I don't think she needs the entire menu painted. <laughs> the only thing she needs to know is that I brought some of Granny Smith's world famous apple pie. What about the cider? It's not the season, Rainbow, and you know that. I know. Well, I for one think you did a wonderful job, Pinky. But a picnic is certainly not complete without some cucumber sandwiches. Rarity's right. Everything looks so good. You really did outdo yourself. I know. <sighs> Twilight? I'm... I'm... I'm sorry. I can't... I can't... I can't do this! Twilight! Twilight. Paper that Starlight saw. <laughs> I remember this. Ugh! We came all the way here, and what do we get? A dusty old book and a weird riddle from a crazy zebra. <laughs> the only way you can fix this is to go back to where you began. <laughs> it makes no sense. Yeah, I agree she wasn't very helpful, but she did have that catchy tune. You gotta dig a little deeper. Oh my Please. god. <laughs> One more time. I'm gonna scream. Okay, okay, I'll stop. So, where to now, princess? Now, we have to go back to Canterlot to show the princess. What's that pony doing on top of that cookie? Here. Would you like to take a picture to commemorate your time? Blank, blank slate. Oh my god. No, we're good. Did you know that the legendary main six used to live with Lost narrator, Meg Python. Blank slate. <laughs> it's a fucking flash side. Pillow. Castle, the great princess Twilight herself used to live in. After many years, she decided to move into Canterlot with the other princesses of the quest to ya. Wow, you sure know a lot about Princess Twilight. Of course, it's my job after all. To a guide of the most famous town in all of Equestria. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, did you know? If we agree to the picture. Will you leave us alone? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fine. Thank you. Come back soon. 
Oh, we won't. Let's go, gal. Wait, you forgot the picture. It just seems weird to me that Don't Crystal Pony has that kind of accent. Princess, you forgot this. Oh, thanks, gal. No problem. That, that bluish pony is an interesting design. Continue lying to the ones I love. Time to wake up from this dream. Cause I'm bursting at the seams. Time to take. I can't do this. They are my friends, and they don't deserve to be lied to. Twilight? You in here? I know you don't want to talk about what's wrong... with me, but you have to tell some pony. <sighs> I do need to tell you all something. And I, I've been so afraid to say it out loud. You don't have to be afraid, Twa. We are always here for you. <sighs> I'm not from this time period. What? what? I knew it! Of course you do. I'm where you ponies are gone. And I found out that... I can't live without you. I'm so broken without you all. <laughs> so that paper I found really was from a hundred years later. Yes. I need to use the elements again, but I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't wield the elements without you. I'm so useless without you ponies. I can't do anything anymore. Oh, Twilight, that can't be true. It, it is. That's why I'm here. I I have to rediscover the elements so I can defeat this creature called the Nightmare. That spell. It makes sense. But, but I realized that this is only for a short time then then i'll be back in a world without you all i don't think i can live like that i've tried i've tried so hard but i can't oh twilight i can't stand the thought of restoring all the elements and being sent back to my time period i want to stay here with you from what you're god that us, is rough i'm not sure that's how it works twa and didn't oh, you say god. something about defeating a big spooky nightmare seems kind of important pinky is right you know where you need to be twilight oh no 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 it, it can't how can it be right when i end up miserable for the rest of my existence if you stayed here, wouldn't you regret it? Don't you have any pony other in your timeline that would miss you? Oh, well, yes, but... But I'm nothing without you next to me. Twilight, that's not true. Yeah, plus I'll be there, won't I? I'm sure I'm a really handsome dragon in the future. <laughs> Damn it, Spike. Uh, see, Twa? You're not alone. Not really. We may not be around forever like you, but we will always be with you. Whenever you see a fabulous piece of fabric, when you look at a cloudless sky, 
Can you hear birds outside your window? When you smile? That's us. But it will all be okay, Sugar Cube. I'm guessing because she was uh, honest with them, she's gonna get awakened to honesty element. Can you say it will be all right? How will I know I'll make it through the night? Without all of you, I cannot see. How will I survive when it is only me? Twilight, hmm? it'll be all right. You'll make it through the night. And find your way into the light. You're not alone, you'll never truly be. Listen to us and you will see. When you see someone showing that they care. When a rainbow shines, there's magic everywhere. When you hear the sound of laughter in the air, then you'll think of us. It'll be like we're right there. All right, the feels are strong in that one. <laughs> oh, God. What are you doing? I've been thinking about that nightmare. So many ponies here are filled with such grief. I fear that the nightmare may attack... Why is Celestia's hair pink? Luna, I know you want to help, but maybe... We should talk about something else. 
What do you mean, my sister? It is our duty of Equestria to protect the ponies that inhabit it. I know, but... And if we don't figure this out soon, I fear we may be too late. Luna, please. And that is why I am adamant to get rid of this creature and the ones who help it. I get it! Celestia? I understand what you are saying, but would you just give it a rest? You have been talking about this all day and night. Do you not know anything else anymore? Did... Did you ever think of me? And how I might feel about you bringing up the very creature that took you away from me? I can't take it anymore. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I... I never thought of that. Of course you didn't. I need to get some air. Excuse me. Yes, Princess. I need you to gather our guests and escort them to the planning room. Of course. Wow, this is seem like a pony. Why are we here? I was having some well-deserved beauty sleep. You know, I have to keep my charmingly good looks up. Mm -hmm. You haven't even done anything. <laughs> of course I have. Now, now, let's settle down. Celestia went to escort Cadence, so she will be joining us in a moment. But until then, let's talk about why I gathered you all here. Is everything okay, Luna? I'm afraid not. It seems like the nightmare is close to taking its host. You mean... that thing from the party? That's why Twilight isn't here. She had to go back in time to help find a way to defeat it. Wait, back in time? That isn't important right now, Flurry. I fear that we must plan for the worst. Have any of you noticed anything strange in the past few days? The nightmare doesn't just visit their victim once. It takes months, maybe years of manipulation into having them agree. It breaks down your strength and makes you believe that its ideas are your own. I haven't seen anything. Me neither. It also likes to go after the already weak-minded. Ones who feel a sense of weakness. The nightmare uses that. Well, I don't think... Wait. Cadence. I heard my mom talking to some pony yesterday, but when I opened the door, there wasn't any pony there. Cadence, we have to go. Cadence! Mom! Huh? What's wrong? I'm reading. Cadence, <laughs> any pony visited you today? No pony except you. If Cadence isn't the one targeted, then who? <laughs> You're too late. Celestia? You poor mare. It's a good thing you didn't go with them. Do you really? think they want to see you or is it that you are afraid of telling them just how close we are celestia stop torturing my friends <laughs> your friends are you sure that's what they really are seems more to me like they are a nuisance for some pony like you. You 
are the nuisance. Ooh. <laughs> well, isn't that ironic? Calling me what you think of yourself. And you know that I'm right about it, too. I... I... After all this time, do you really still believe those lies you tell yourself? Then what you did was right. Just leave me alone. Just like how you left Twilight and Cadence alone? Tell me, how does it feel to watch the lives you've destroyed every single day? No. If it wasn't for you, Twilight would have her friends. If it wasn't for you, Cadence would be with her husband, and Flurry would have her mother back. And let's not forget. Your biggest mistake. Failing Luna to the point where she became a monster. It's your fault. Everything is your fault. You have every pony fooled, thinking you are so innocent. But I think that you are even worse than me, Tina. It's not true. You made them alicorns to satisfy your need to feel power. I almost feel sorry for them. I'm sorry, I... You should be sorry. You don't deserve to live after what you've done. After all the lives you have ruined. You're right. Finally, you realize what I've been trying to tell you for months. All those times I've been whispering in here and now listen please don't hurt them oh tia i won't lay a hoof on them you want to know why because we are the same i've been in your head celestia do you really think you can live with all of this guilt inside of you wouldn't it feel great to just let it go? What are you? I understand. I can help you. Don't oh, you God. You for power. No, just leave me alone. Okay, that's cool. What's wrong? Tia? Are you okay? Tia? Please answer me. I care about you. You think that you can After all you've done No pony could ever look at your face Celestia? Not this time. I won't lie and ignore what's inside of me. I accept my punishment. I will not deceive.
Oh, damn. There can only be one alicorn in Equestria, and it will be me. <laughs> oh, damn. I guess now the question is, is that Daybreaker or is this, is that just someone she made up? Cause I know she probably most likely had all this written up before episode 10 came out with Daybreaker. Oh, hey, is that a, that guy. <laughs> I can't remember the guy's name. He does those SFMs. I'm falling slowly, going back and start over, stay behind, keep composed. All roads are ever changing, still I know that I must go. Memory becomes clearer as I stare into the mirror. Take my worthless story, soul. Even Essence, sorry. But the unicorn did quite a few voices. Turning brownies. Okay. <laughs> Turn in winter. Okay. Oh man, that was a long one, but that was that was probably the best episode so far. Um, man, lost stuff just happened in that. So Twilight got the honesty element now, which was that? That should just I believe that just leaves loyalty. So, I would imagine that's going to be in the next episode, in winter. There can't be that many episodes, though, that are left. Like, I imagine there's probably going to be about 10, but it might even be less than that. It might be about 8 or 9. And now we got... Dad, they really... She really turned it around there. I was certain... I was just assuming as Luna was that it was going to be Cadence, but no, they were going after Celestia. That... <laughs> like, I knew at the beginning with the way that... The way the intro was, I knew something was going to go down. But I was not expecting that one. This is going to... This is getting really good. I... I'm excited for episode 7 in the winter. That's going to be really amazing. And definitely some feels in this one. <laughs> when Twilight admitted, revealed that she was from the future to her friends, that that one almost got me. But oh man, this is really good. I love the arts. A lot of cool art styles in this. A lot, a lot of the songs I enjoy too. Some of them, like I don't know, a lot of the songs they sound familiar to me, but when I see what the original song is, I don't recognize it. 
So it is cool that one of them was in a cover or uh, I guess a re-edition of an Evanescence song. Even though that one I haven't heard either. This, I lo I'm loving this series. I can't wait for the next one. Uh, I gotta get this mask off now. <laughs> okay. So that was uh, episode 6 of Remembrance. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy.